Hey everybody and welcome to our first ever session of the Trainers Access. And we are really lucky today to have Crystal Anderson with us. And she is our trainer extraordinaire. She's gonna be here during the weeks and this is, like I say, our first ever. We've got some questions that you guys have sent in. She's gonna answer them today. So Crystal, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, first of all, you flatter me. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, I am a certified personal trainer. I've been working with Sizzle for a little while now. It's been a great journey. Hopefully you guys have watched the videos of our workouts. It's gonna tie in. Um, I've been doing this for about 10 years and I didn't feel like I was in the best state of health. There is such thing as an unhealthy skinny, which I was. Yes. I decided I needed some muscle. I wanted to just be more capable, more physically active. And that just kind of led into my career now as a certified personal trainer. So I know you have several certifications and what are those? I do, I, I am a certified health coach. So I am capable of helping people through a lot of stages of their workouts, their changes and their dietary needs. Uh, I am certified in nutrition as well. So I'm always happy to answer nutritional questions. That is a big part of your weight loss journey. And yeah. we'll probably talk about that more. Uh, and I'm also certified in women's health and women's nutrition and special populations, which, which is, is interesting. I, when you right. told me that earlier, then yeah. what is that? That's right. We did talk about that. Uh, so that's just different populations. So maybe a small child or an older person or someone who has a little bit of a disability. I am certified in helping those. People. That's awesome. I love that. Thank you. So when you start your weight loss and you get going, the biggest issue that I hear from people is that they hit a plateau. plateau when that happens, yes, you, yeah. I'm sure you see that. Yes, we've all done it, I've done it. It's yeah. very frustrating. First off, we need to make sure it is a plateau. Oftentimes we're looking at the scale and we're thinking, why am I not losing weight? But you might be shrinking in inches and gaining muscle. So make sure that it is a plateau. Your clothes might be loose, but you might be putting on muscle, which is gonna weigh more, that's okay. And if you feel like that's not what's happening and you have reached a plateau and nothing is changing at all, take a step back. Think about, is anything changed since I started? If I've lost weight, do I need to adjust my calories? Uh, am I not pushing myself as hard as I did? Did I go back to eating a different way? Or just take a look at what you could change that may have created that plateau. That's awesome. So make sure for what it is before you start the next Absolutely. step. Absolutely. And that next step means should cut, when do I take sizzle ripped and sizzling? I know you're taking these products. Yes. Definitely. So right before working out um, or hours right after the workout or hours later, when do you suggest the distributors take these products? So there's, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Right before a workout, I need energy. I don't know about you. So I'm gonna take Sizzle Sport. That gives me just the boost of energy I need for my muscles and a little bit more endurance to get through it. Afterwards, you're kind of tired. You're gonna to need to supplement those tired muscles and body. Sizzle Ripped and Sizzle Lean are both great afterwards. Sizzle Ripped is gonna deliver those amino acids to help recovery, and Sizzle Lean is gonna fuel those muscles that are tired. Sizzle Lean is kind of cool in the ways that you can take that anytime. If you skip a meal, if you need it, just a fast meal for breakfast or whenever you want it, it's full of tons of proteins and vitamins that's good for you. Oh, good, good. Lots of good information yeah. here. So here's a question, and this is one that I'm not very good at. That's mm -hmm. water. <laughs> Drinking <laughs> water. And I always yes. feel better when I drink more. So yeah, what are your suggestions in that? So they do recommend 64 ounces of water a day. Mm. For me, that's a challenge. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a lot. You have to make sure you are drinking enough drink as often as you can. If you're already taking products like Sizzle Lean and Sizzle Ripped uh, and Sizzle Sport, you may be putting the water in those already. So that's part mm. of your hydration oh. for that day. That's good to know. Yeah. So if you can't get to the gym, because I know you work at a gym, but a lot of women can't, maybe they have kids or maybe they have physical limitations. What suggestions do you have for them if they're at home? And Great they can't? question. Great question. I'm very fortunate because I do have access to everything all day. Uh, so. You can do anything with your own body weight. Squats, lunges. Uh, if moving around is a challenge, there are upper body movements we can do that can kind of build that upper body strength. You can go back to our videos we were doing uh, where we were doing a lot of workouts just with our body weight, mostly. Uh, things around the house you can grab. Use your kids for resistance. There's a lot of options. Okay, so of course, I'm gonna have to mention the keto diet. Definitely. And what 
nutrients do you need to make sure you're getting while you're on that? Because I know you, you can only take and eat certain things. So what do you suggest Absolutely. for that? Absolutely. So the keto diet breaks it down into a little bit higher fats, moderate proteins, and very little carbs. Uh, it's good, it's great for weight loss, definitely. There is a sizzle thin that's gonna help you get a little bit more of that magnesium in there, uh, things that help accelerate the keto diet. And then they've got some great multivitamins. The Encompass, the Spectrum Max are also things you can do to make sure you're getting adequate nutrition. Some vitamins and minerals that, that maybe the meats and the fats aren't gonna provide for you. That's right, absolutely. And great products there for that. Really? So um, so if you've got team members that you've been working with and, and you're, you're, everybody's doing what they should, but there's somebody who just can't get there, how do you motivate them to kind of get going? Well, let's see why. Let's try to go back to the beginning. What, what's changed? Have they reached a plateau and they're feeling a little discouraged? How do we help them see if it is a plateau? We can motivate people in a lot of ways. We can just kind of get down to the root of what's slowing them down or what they may be doing wrong, or maybe they just need a, hey, let's go walk together. Maybe just a buddy to help do something with them. And how them. often do you follow up with people? Like, is this like every day, once a week? Like, you don't want to bother them, but you want them to have enough, you know, motivation and feedback that it keeps them going. So what do Definitely. you uh, It's up to the individual. Um, you guys have heard that I, I train Milo. I, I give him some, <laughs> I stay on it. Every you know? day for him, <laughs> every day. Yeah, we communicate a lot, but that's how he's able to push a little harder and reach his goals uh, as, as often as you can. It, it, may not be harassment if you're trying to help them That's right. stay on track. Yeah, and he's had some great success Thank there you. too. He's, so he's worked hard. So in your opinion, um, what's more important, diet or working out? Diet, I, I hear diet. this all the time, yeah. definitely. Uh, diet's gonna be my, my go-to yeah. because it's something that we have to do daily. Okay. You know, you have to mm -hmm. have your nutrition, you have to eat to survive. Uh, if you can do both, do both. There's just so many benefits to either one. But for me, if I don't get a chance to work out that day, I'm gonna make sure that I eat right all day. That's right, so, okay. And of course we don't wanna eat all day. So how, how often do you suggest to eat on a diet? Timing with eating is, is great too. I know people that will eat breakfast and then go eight hours without eating again. And the problem with that is they tend to binge. They've waited too long, they're starving, mm. and they overeat, yeah. give in to temptation. I recommend probably every two to three hours. It doesn't have to be a large meal. It can be the sizzle lean. You know, you could yeah. even take the sizzle ripped again if you'd like. That, that does have some calories and nutrients in that. It doesn't have to be large quantities throughout the day, just enough to keep you fueled and going. Yeah, good, okay. okay. And the one question that I think a lot of people have is when you're losing weight, there's a million ways to exercise. Is there some that are the most beneficial for losing weight? Definitely, yes. Anything that's gonna be high intensity or heart rate. When you are working out, exercising, you do wanna try and get your heart rate up as often as possible. Mm -hmm. Of course, paying attention to your limitations is important. If you're just starting out, you might not wanna go try to run a mile. Uh, yeah. Take it easy, listen to your body, right? But when you can build that energy within your cardiovascular system, you can get your heart rate up more and burn more calories. So are there any other products the sizzle products that you love, that you've had some experience with, that you suggest? Absolutely. We focus so much on taking care of the inside of our bodies that we need to focus on all of it. I love the collagen. I've been taking that for a while now. My hair's growing, my nails are growing, my skin is better. I feel great. It's got so many nutrients in there. Uh, don't skip that one. Definitely take it. And you've got hair down to your back. It's growing. So yes. That's awesome. I noticed that. <laughs> I have to that. pay more at the barber, but you That's know. right. It's worth it. And everyone <laughs> yes, wants definitely, that, right? Definitely. So it's a great product. So I love that. <laughs> Me too. Awesome. Awesome. Lots of great information. I want to thank you, Crystal. Thank you. Lots of great information about the products as well. So we want to make sure that you guys send in any additional questions you have for our next session. And if you haven't purchased the coaching journal, make sure you do. You get that 5% discount on the fitness line and an awesome journal that helps keep you track of your progress and your teams and helps you conquer the goals like Crystal is. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. You bet.